The purpose of this instructional video is to mount the FLIR thermal camera with the Drones Plus Dallas gimbal on the Inspire 2 aircraft. In preparation for installation, make sure you download the FLIR UAS app. It's available in either Android or iOS and charge all of the batteries that came with the unit. First, we will review what comes in the box. Uh, you'll have uh, a couple of different chargers, one for that works on both the monitor and the remote. You'll have another charger that will charge the LiPo battery that powers the gimbal camera assembly. You'll have a couple of Velcro straps, and this will be used for mounting the battery onto the Inspire 2, and then of course you'll have the gimbal camera assembly. Now we'll start the installation process. First thing, make sure that the drone is powered off, and it will remain powered off throughout the duration of the installation of the gimbal. You'll hold the gimbal as such with this large tab facing towards you, and it goes in just like the X5, X4S, quarter turn, and it's locked. Now it's a matter of installing the battery. Uh, you'll have a Velcro strip. You might want to, before you do this, kind of see where it should be positioned, just behind, right by these screws. Take the backing of the Velcro, Hopefully you won't have a sore thumb like I do. And then position the battery and the leads of the battery go to the right. Just like so. Okay, the next step will be to turn on the monitor. This particular monitor uh, has a switch on the back and a switch on the front to turn on. And you turn on the remote, this particular remote, and you should hear that sound. Next step will be to open your FLIR app, the FLIR UAS app, uh, which you see here. Uh, here, it uh, shows scanning for cameras, and in this case, it had already found this camera. And now what you want to do is go ahead and connect the gimbal power, and it's keyed. Just make sure it's fully seated. The camera will begin a self-test. It starts with a red light. Uh, it'll take, sometimes it takes up to maybe 30 seconds, and then you'll hear a double beep and you should see a blue and a green light. And that's when it goes into Bluetooth mode and you should see it now show up on the FLIR app. Now you should be connected and now it's just a matter of choosing the camera that it found, and then it will connect and it will go into the app. Now, the purpose of the app is to configure the camera. You won't always necessarily have to do this step. Um, if you're doing repetitive applications, the same use case, you may never have to go back into it. But this is where you go in and you set the camera up to either take stills or video. You can select a color palette other than just the white, black, and red that's available through the remote interface. And if you have a radiometric camera that will give you uh, actual temperatures, then you actually go in and you can set the ambient temperature and humidity to give you more accurate readings. Now it's beyond the scope of this video to teach you everything about the FLIR UAS app, but that information can be found on the FLIR's website.
Now at this point you should be seeing the video show up, the thermal video show up on the screen, as you'll see. If for some reason you just see static, uh, it could be a situation where the camera and it could be a situation where the camera and the monitor somehow got on different channels. You can search the channels just by pressing this button here and it will sequence through all 32 channels and find the one that matches the setting of the camera. Now that we're done covering the app and the camera and gimbal settings, let's go ahead and talk about the remote. Uh, now you're going to see a remote with a lot of switches and dials and knobs. Don't be intimidated by that. There's really only four switches that are active. These two knobs on the right and left will control the gimbal up and down and left and right. Switch A will start and stop the video or take pictures. The switch D will is a three position switch and will go from white hot to black hot to red hot. The gimbal, if you'll notice, up and down, and then move the camera left and right to make sure that the antenna is clear from the gimbal, uh, just in case that it got somehow misaligned in shipping. The gimbal should go nice and free and pretty smooth up and down, left and right. If at any point during the installation you feel like, you know, this is too much or you have problems or questions, uh, please feel free to call the store. Um, let's set up a time when we'll do a one-on-one -on -one and go over all this installation process with you.